I think to, to put back the, the human person as the center of the globalization process, we have to you know, overcome the, the rule of money. We have to look at what the economy, what the finance actually is supposed to serve and uh, make sure that this does not happen at the expense of our natural environment on which we all depend and not at the expense of um, future generations. That basically means in different, you know, very deep rethinking in very, very many fields, everywhere you have to question what is what we are doing compatible? Is it sustainable? Is it you know, compatible with the interest of future generations? Because everybody I know um, says that they have one common value. It's the desire to hand over a better world, or at least not a, a deteriorated, a worse world to their children and, and their children. I think the theme of the Samarth Summit is um, you know, important because it, it does focus on the one hand on what you can do as individuals and you know, we are, in, in the rich countries especially, we are above average part of the problem so we need to become above average part of the solution through our changes in our personal behavior and following best practice but I think also it's very very important to look at, at the political sector because you know, politics, laws, regulations, institutions we create they determine the way markets operate, in which direction they develop. They determine uh, technologies, in which direction they, d they develop. So um, this is something, I think, which is quite, uh, quite often missing, the understanding of the importance of getting engaged again in public life and in political life if we want to change things in time. Um. I created two organizations, the, the Right Livelihood Award, which is that to promote, uh, support and honor best practice initiatives all over the world people working on the most urgent crisis we are facing, the most urgent challenges. And, you know, we give them an award, which sometimes is an honor, sometimes it's a monetary award, which is presented in the Swedish Parliament. When I started it, it was not, but we were invited after five years to present it in the Swedish Parliament. And we cover many areas from environment, um, human courage, social, social transformation, human development, but also um, in economics, as if people matter, you know, areas which are not covered by other awards or where the other awards are too narrowly focused. And um, I was also involved in, in uh, the setting up the other economic summit, which shadowed the G7, the G8 summits, and out of that grew then the New Economics Foundation, because I realized uh, that we need to work on, on creating a new economics. We need to create both work both in the theory and the, pra and the, the practice. This is a, a think and do tank. And, and then the last organization I've created, which I'm now working to keep going and to secure the future of, is the World Future Council, which is, of course, a very grand name for an organization which is uh, still um, not very big, but we have 50 councillors who act as a joint voice of future generations because today we are impacting, we are threatening future generations more than ever before with our decisions, but they don't have any say in the matter. And so we look at how can we make sure that the right policies, so-called future just policies, are adopted, how can we stop crimes against future generations, make sure that they are actually persecuted, how can we create institutions like a, a parliamentary ombudsman, a parliamentary guardian of future generations. And we look always at something which really exists somewhere. Before we invent something completely new, we see is there already a model? And you know, in, in Hungary, there is actually such a parliamentary uh, guardian of future generations who has the right even to stop laws which he regards as threatening the future and refer them to the courts. So this is one example of the models we are looking at. We are, of course, also working very much in a commission on, on future finance, on how we can make the, uh, our financial system future compatible, how we can get away from this. Uh, silly belief that you know there is money to save the banks but not money to save the climate we have shown how such money can be created using an existing mechanism can be created inflation free by only creating it uh, new money through special drawing rights of the IMF against performance there are many innovative ideas there and the problem always is uh, not to come up with new ideas the problem is to overcome the old ones